Hello designers, today I'm going to show you how to create a typing effect in Figma and with this plugin that I came across it makes it really easy to do this. So here's a quick preview of it. I'm just going to preview this one right here. So here we have a search bar. Once I click on the search bar a keyboard comes in and you can see the typing effect on the screen and once I hit on return it gives you the results right. So we're going to see how to create this. It's very easy. Let's jump out of a fresh screen and see how to create this from scratch right. So I'm just going to close this one right here. So here I have the basic screens and some components that I need for creating this. And that's just the home screen, the search page, and also the keyboard that we want. It's an iPhone keyboard. So the first thing we're going to do is bring in this home screen down. So I'm just hitting on Alt and clicking and dragging. That makes a copy of it. And here I want the text to come in, right? So probably I'm just searching for a computer gaming chair. And that's how I bring in the text as well. So this is the text. Uh, you can just type it in here, uh, computer gaming chair. And then uh, the magic is with the plugin. So just search for the plugin named Typist. And this is the plugin that you want go to plugin section and the first plugin that you see here the typist animated type just click on it and it opens up a window so here you have the option to you know bring it letter by letter or word by word or multiple words at a time right so for this animation i want it letter by letter the alphabet should come one by one and here you can set the speed so i'm just going to set it slightly slower and just say create component and that creates a set of these components right so it's basically uh, just reducing your manual effort of going character by character and the plugin is doing the job here right so once this is done all you got to do is just place this aside right so i'm just going to place it on the left right here and i'm going to duplicate this page so once i click here i want the animation to come here so that's why i'm duplicating this page right here and what you got to do is just select the first component right here i'm just going to copy it and i'm going to replace it with this search right so you can do a right click and do paste to replace or use the shortcut shift command and r so i'm just going to click this and that's going to bring it here reposition it to the left right here like it looks good i think that should be good so let's quickly run this and see how it works so if i do a preview of this one you can see that the typing effect is working fine now all you got to do is just bring in the interactions that we saw earlier right so the first thing is you want a keyboard so i'm just going to bring the keyboard in on the second screen right here and place it at the bottom uh, and on the first screen also you want to place it because you want the keyboard to come from the bottom so i'm going to place it on the first screen as well but i'm holding a uh, space and moving it to the bottom so that it's out of the frame and from here it comes in with the smart animate so once it comes here you want the animation to come in and then probably the result screen right here is the next screen that you want so i'm going to place it right here and link the return button to the next screen so that becomes your on click and let's say search and this becomes your smart animate and probably on the this screen you want the keyboard to move down so i'm just going to copy this keyboard and also place it here and using the space bar and moving it out of the frame right i think i also forgot an interaction here so it should happen on click of the search bar so i click on this one go to prototype and link it to the next screen so this should be smart animate and 30 300 milliseconds looks good so now let's preview this and see how it goes so i click on this you have the interaction come in and I hit on return and there you go. That's how you can create this amazing typing effect on Figma. So if you found this interesting, do subscribe to the channel and also check out the other videos where I show you some amazing Figma tricks. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you with another one.